Hey lovies, welcome back to my channel. I'm your Trin Ty and I'm your girl Ty Mars. Okay, so it's been a while, but let's bring it back to the root of my channel. Style profiles, holes, all that fun stuff. So in today's video, I'm doing a try on haul. Okay, so let me put y'all on to some tea. We only have a short amount of time, so I hope you're paying attention. Ladies of the Tri-State, all my curvy dolls. Within the New York City area, 20 West 38th Street, I'll put the direct address right here. Fashion to Figure has a pop-up shop. Now, I don't know if you know about this. I don't know if anybody didn't tell you, but your girl Ty is putting you on. Honey. The store is 80% off. I repeat, this is not a drill. The store is 80% off. When I tell you I lost my mind, I've been twice. Full bags. Literally, the first time I went, I went before work and I was like, I can't even walk around in here. And for $73, I think my total amount ballpark, I don't even remember, it was like $73, nine items. My second time going, $23, four products, full on outfits. This is not a drill. I have been a fan of fashion to figure since high school. Like I really started getting into them around my senior year. I got my graduation dress from them. If you like to see right here bomb white hugging all type of curls girl was giving you body from the jump so this is definitely that type of brand with quality items very boutique -y like that fashion nova before fashion nova like that necessary clothing before that necessary clothing before all the big old plus size brands start to get really up in there so like so to explain me i'm a plus size girl size 16 my size is very weird up top I'm a large arms are little thickums my hips and booty well we don't even need to explain that but when I wear plus size clothes I am also short waisted and I'm a short girl I'm only 5'5 five five. so when I get clothes and it fits me perfectly without me having to take it to a tailor without me talking about oh girl I'm gonna buy that that's gonna be my go outfit how many times we did that okay so this is one of those brands that the sizing is cute they have like those vanity sizes so I'm like zero to like four or whatever and within this brand like I said I'm a size 16 but my size conversions may vary in certain items so if I am shopping in fashion to figure I'm maybe a zero to a one and with the jeans, it may vary sometimes, and I'll wear a 14 or a 16. So that's just to give you a ballpark. So let's just give you the zhuzh on the store. Setting the scene, Midtown, New York, right off of Bryan Park. I'm walking, and I bump into this sign. And it says 80% off, it says fashion to figure, and I'm like, wait this is where the store is i've had co-workers i've had family members tell me that the store is over here but i thought i was missing out apparently the store is only going to be open until the end of june so you still do have time what's today today's the 15th so i'm filming this right now hopefully by the time i get this up we have enough time to make sure we're all being catered to to the fashion gods because honey Sample sales in New York City is not a game. This is that time when you get products that may be on trend for last season or this season or just things that just fall in between and designers have contributed to that line. My mom went there, she picked up a Michael Kors dress or a Calvin Klein's dress. I don't know, but she got so excited that she's been there numerous times and I've only been there twice. And probably after this video, I probably might go thrice, three more times. I don't know. I just know that 80% off in me, what? First off, tops, blouses, 
dresses, shoes, accessories, pants, skinny jeans, you needed 80% off. Tops I think was going for like $4, dresses was like 9 to 12 it may vary. One of the items that I'm going to show you literally was the last one and I got it even more cut down because it was the last one and they have a changing area in the back where you can just feel free to change clothes whatever I don't know I'm just one of those people that I never like to try on things and if it fits it fits if it don't it don't but you know it's serious when I want to change an area so y'all <sighs> so some of the things that I bought which includes this gorgeous magenta top and I'm going to Miami soon so I might bring this on the trip like this is so classy very yachting very quick very sex in the city very I threw this on and it's an outfit I wear this with a skirt a cute pair of capris skinnies like this is definitely a transitional piece when I go shopping I make sure that I'm getting something that I'm not just gonna keep in my closet and I'm only gonna get one use out of it and oh it's a faux pas no I care about my coin I want to make sure I'm investing in it properly and I love the way it pops on my skin I don't even have my tan yet and it's making me looking very goes and gorgeous on it's super nice I love the cutouts on the shoulders and how it just has my decolletage hanging out ever so politely and I got this one in a size two just because I wanted it to fit somewhat baggy like very peasant top because if I would have got it like a zero or a one it'll be more grabby and that's taking away from I think the design of the shirt it's just very innocent and very romantic and definitely will be seeing this in a lookbook and or styling post make sure you keep up with my social medias trend tie Instagram Twitter keep up with your girl falling into that peasant top spectrum again I got this really pretty just really knitted or the print is very almost Aztec -y. but it's another peasant type top something I can throw on at work something quick like I mean I love effortless chicness that's something that just falls into an outfit. I don't really have to try too much. Like you already know this is it. This is gonna be me. This is what I'm wearing and honey yes. Like and this one I got in a size 3 because like I said for certain items don't even worry about your normal size. If you know that it's supposed to fit a certain way go up in a size. No matter if you're a petite girl to a curvy girl. If it's supposed to be a peasant type shape, don't get it exactly to your size because it's not going to give you that baggy, really boho appearance that you want. It's going to just basically hang but not be as sheafy as you'd like. That's just a little tea for me. And then, you know my obsession with keyholes. I got this lightweight knit shirt has keyholes in it very sexy another quickie shirt for work I've actually worn it recently and I love the way it looked and with it it is definitely just effortless again just something that you can just throw on a pair of cute jeans a bold skirt and another transitional look because it's lightweight knit I can wear it in the summer and I won't get super hot because I can't stand grabby clothes in the summer. But I can see me also transitioning this into that early fall season. So love that. Okay. So this is one of those extra clashy. Like clashy tops. So this is one of those really pretty peplum. And you know how I am. I love me a good see-through anything. It's see-through and peplum and sweetheart top that's very form-fitting, so form-fitting that I don't have to wear a bra with it. With this, I bought a zero 
it fits perfectly it holds the girls it holds the waist and the peplum comes out perfectly for me and it almost looks like it's about to turn into a dress because you know I'm short-waisted so and the arms the arms fit so great and this is one thing about really good quality plus size brands like this you know that if it's tight on the arm you can go up a size and it won't be too bad but this the lace is like literally I have so much room like I can do jumping jacks in this and I won't be upset so yeah it's so comfy so chic I can definitely see me wearing this to work as well as maybe a work event if I have to go and do a special you know networking something a little fancy yes I'm living for it and something a little fancy got me a pair of jeggings now this is my first pair of jeggings and first pair of pants period from fashion figure so I wasn't quite sure what size to get because like I said my top is smaller than my bottom so with this I felt like the zero was too tight and because it has a leatherette material in the front and then a cotton material in the back I didn't want it to be super grabby but then I wasn't sure about the one and I kind of picked this one up I should have tried this on in the store but I was too excited and overwhelmed so I ended up getting a two which I'm so mad I should have just got a freaking one because it's kind of loose and I know when you certain plus size clothes when you wash it it may get a little bigger in the waist and because of my waist is a 39 because my waist is a 37 and my hips is about a 49 I know for a fact when I wash this it's probably going to expand so hopefully I won't have any issues but if anything I think I picked this up and it was like maybe nine dollars like I can take that to the cleaners and just get it darted, so that's fine. Another item I can definitely see myself wearing to work. It's appropriate length romper. Yes, honey, we falling into the trend like all these guys nowadays wearing their rompers. But I've never had a romper that actually fits me. Maybe that means I should only get rompers with both of those brands. I don't know, but I'm very weird with the size. Actually, when I get rompers, like the top fits but the bottom doesn't or the bottom fits and the top doesn't so it's very up and down this is very neutral I'm happy I got it in a one rather than a zero just because I feel like the zero would be a little grabby and if I wanted to wear this to work it's not super tight so it's not like I'm gonna be looking like a video call girl like trying to beat somebody's face and then I look like I'm selling something other than makeup if you catch my drift so that's not cute but I love this it hits perfectly on my legs the only thing is I think I might when I do wear it out I'm probably gonna cuff it just for the simple fact of I feel like the leg part is too long and remember me being short-waisted some things with size conversions and proportions don't really fall right but I'm happy that it doesn't gather in my butt oh my gosh you know when you are a girl who got full of hips and a, and a full of booty thing it's up a donkey pants literally get swallowed in there and this is definitely one of those rompers I know for a fact if I wear it to a family cookout I don't have to do that reach around grab situation if you know what I mean anyway well, this right here oh girl so pretty the bottom is like a traditional tight you know very cigarette pant leg very 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 skinny but the top is the reason why I bought it I literally tried this on by mistake this is the item that I was telling you about that was the last one I got it in a one I wish I would have got a zero but it's fine a one I'm just happy I got to walk away with it it fits like a dream. I think I might take this one to Miami with me. Just one of those nights where we might go to like a nice restaurant and just wear with a nice sandal. Like very strappy. Probably maybe even a gold sandal. I'm in love with this. It just looks so regal but sexy in such a playful way. Like I don't want to look old but I still want to start buying items that make me look a little more mature like 
24 now, you know, gotta leave that whole Forever 21 lifestyle, you know, in the back, even though still with my Forever 21, but you know, you don't want to always look like play play, like I'm a woman now. My birthday just passed. I'm a woman now. Taurus season, the 13th. Thank you for everyone who said happy birthday to me, by the way. But literally, I can see me possibly wearing this to a plus size event. And I know if I was to ever go to a fashion over event or a fashion to figure event or full figured fashion week, and I was to wear this. Honey, they might have to talk to me and ask me to walk the runway. I might get a couple of contacts like, guys, yes. I love this so much. I'm so happy to get this. And like I said, the store is 80% off. The original price of this, I still have the tag because the rest of them, I don't. I'm sorry. I just ripped everything off. So I'm sorry. I don't really include any prices in this video, but this is the only one I kept because this is very important to me. And hopefully they might have it on the website and I might be able to find size down but either way I'm fine okay so the original price is $52 I got this for $9 what like <sighs> this sale is not a joke okay so now going into dresses now you know me I don't really wear pants that much but maybe only skinny jeans. So these little rompers and that jumpsuit is like new for me. And it was kind of like me stepping out of my comfort zone. But I am a party dress fanatic. I have dresses for days. If we have events, invite me. I will come and show out and stomp. Stomp and serve body. Okay? So, first dress that I got. Very Miami. I might bring this too. Because it's just very festive and, and very like bandage gray and white bandage just a uh, laser pattern cut just serving body at all times I love this I got this at a size zero it's so nice like the way that it fits my body first off I'm not even doing any of the try-ons with this video with Sphinx on because this video is very impromptu. I don't even think to really think ahead, but y'all know how I do. You always gotta make sure Spanx are not just for curvy girls, it's for every size, just to make sure everything looks very nice and very, you know, sculpted. And within this, without Spanx, it hugs perfectly like honey. Girl, I'm not even wearing a bra with this. I am a 38 double D. For me to get a dress on and not have to do anything, but zip. You gonna make me feel like I'm an Instagram baddie. Like, why are you starting with me, fashion to figure? Fash. Oh. We here. Like, and it's a zero, and it fits perfectly. I was nervous, because when I saw it, I was like, maybe I should get like a one or a two, I'm not sure. And at the time, I was shopping with my mom, and even the girl who worked there, she was like, no baby, a zero. I was like, no, because it might be a little too tight. She was like, no honey, zero. And it was one of those, one of those other last minute person, it was one of those last minute purchases that I was like, okay, well, I'll get it. And a1 now this dress another very Miami like I can probably wear this in the summertime this would definitely be like a poppy kind of dress in the fall winter seasons this is definitely like a bold dress just because of the pattern New York is already calmed down but you can only wear this type of thing if you like a girl who likes to be bold and I like to be bold in fun ways of my fashion so why not so this dress right here sweetheart you know see through mesh fits so well and the pattern is so like over the top it's plum like a really dark purple color with cheetah print there's florals prints on it it's orchids and orchids ranges and all kinds of flowers you might as well say that they just got really excited by the cheetah print cheetah licious and then 
thought about tiger lilies, so they just throw random pretty flowers. I don't know where I'm wearing this, but the day I will wear this, I'm telling you right now, I can see it with snatch back hair, give my big head, Bratz doll vibes. <laughs> Just life, like really, really gelled, you know, really nice soft contour, but really nudey with a bold lip. Probably like a lip, that's the color of my shirt, like a nice magenta, just to pop it up, or like a really, really, really good nude. Yeah, I'm already getting excited. Funny when you want something and then you don't see it on whatever site you're on and then it end up coming back. So, now this dress reminds me of that Kim K dress, and I know, just mention her, woo -woo -woo. but she wore this dress. Hopefully I could find a picture right here. It was very, like, painted on, wet look. The body stocking that she wore under it was nude, and it just, just sat, and it just looked like naked, but black. But this one, what I love about this, it has, like, that iridescent quality so when I wear this oh honey either a high ponytail or really big curly hair like I just want to be very ooh just ooh like this dress feels bomb painted on it's a size zero like it fits so nice I love it and I'm just uh, I can't. Now, this dress right here. I bought it the first time on my first trip to the pop-up shop and I wasn't sure if I was going to just flat out pass out. This dress right here. Oh my gosh. Last final dress. Last final item to show you. Guys, this dress is so Mom, when I first got it, I got it in the zero. It fit nicely, but the issue was my high knee. So I decided to go back, return it, get a size up, and I just needed it because with the zero, I need a bra. It was just perfect. It was tight in the right places. I loved it. The only issue was the zipper wasn't acting right. And then even though the original pricing of this was probably like $40 to $50. And yeah, I got it for like $9. But with dresses like this that the detailing is really, really particular, I didn't want to take it to a cleaners and they jack up the dress. You know what I mean? So just get a size up. Sometimes we just have to do it. And they didn't have a one. like everybody being a size 16 but they end up having a two which was fine it still fit nice um, it's a little grabby in certain areas I might still actually take it to the cleaners just to get it darted a little bit but this dress is just so perfect fits like a glove it's so sexy and in such a classy way like if I'm gonna give you some skin I'm gonna give you a moderate areas like if I'm gonna give you cleavage I'm gonna hide my arms or hide my legs like you know like it has to be a balance like if I'm gonna give you back out I'm gonna like give you like a pantsuit like a lot of things have to go collectively done in like a nice tasteful way because skin 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 just looks like skin and being a thick girl is cute but you don't want to draw attention in a way that just detains from your shape like you know your shape is bomb you know you're a gorgeous girl but if all of us hanging out what you serving next like you got another course because I'm the main course what we have is six it's fancy okay it's six course meals we do it fancy things okay but all in all I love fashion to figure for me it they always have things that are in my style I mean the cost definitely represents you know the quality I mean for the price point sometimes you might be a little up there but you can find a couple of things in a clearance rack like don't be upset like you can definitely find some things um, fashion figure call me, but I hope you guys 
love this try on haul i hope to do more in the coming future you know just getting used to this face so as always like comment and subscribe to see more tutorials hauls and videos from me make sure you click down below to be a part of that notification gang to keep up with your girl and make sure you follow my social medias trentai on instagram and twitter tweet me follow me say hey and i'll see you in the next one Later, love you. Don't forget to subscribe to see more tutorials, hauls, and videos from me. And oh yeah, check out my latest video.